Are we on? Are we on? Are we Is on there? Thing Hello, on? check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we should be streaming live. Can everybody see us? Give us a little hey in the uh, the chat room there. Got the little video preview. There we go. We're coming up. <laughs> if, if everybody see us? See us? I gotta hey and mute this. There we go. All right. Also, oh, it's slightly delayed. Cool. So yeah, there is a little bit of a delay. This is uh, the first TC Helicon Twitch stream that we've got going on. So we have our big gong show of uh, technology we're trying to put together here for you to make this thing happen. And Craig uh, and I are sitting really close together. Yeah, we, Tom and I are, are madly in love with each other. So that's uh, all <laughs> wonderful. Finally, again. I thought yeah. he'd never ask. <laughs> So uh, thanks everybody for coming to join us on this first little adventure into uh, the live streaming and we're going to be trying to do lots more of these things in the future. Um, we're bringing you Play Acoustic today so we're really excited about this new product. Yeah Tom can hold it up. We've got our, our unit that we can uh, we can show. We'll be looking at the screen going where the hell are my hands while yeah. doing this. Is that uh, too much reflection? <laughs> So we've got Play Acoustic. Um, I'm sure lots of you have lots, lots of questions and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we've got the chat going, so I do see what you guys are, are saying here, and we'll be picking up some questions in a little bit. Keep it clean. <laughs> Keeping it clean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, uh, we won't be afraid to use the band hammer if we have to. Um, so the first thing we wanted to kind of do a little bit was uh, would chat just uh, sort of about our motivation, why we made Play Acoustic, why we think it's such a cool product. Um, so I'm going to toss it over to Tom here to just uh, give a little bit of a, a sort of a once over of the product and, yeah. and all the cool features it's got. So well, why did we make Play Acoustic? Well, I guess we wanted something that spoke directly to acoustic players because uh, GTX can be the, the other product that's in the similar form factor, um, Voice Life Play GTX, is uh, can be a little bit daunting for acoustic players because mm. it changes the sounds every time and a lot of yeah. the sounds are geared towards like, you know, rock and roll. There, there's a lot of distortion <laughs> in there and with an acoustic guitar, some of you may like that, but uh, I don't think every acoustic guitar player wants his guitar to sound like it's coming out of a Marshall. So we decided to make this <laughs> this lovely little thing that's very compact, that'll give you a great composite vocal sound and a terrific um, acoustic guitar sound. And it's uh, we did something new with the acoustic mm -hmm. guitar and yeah, the acoustic. Yeah, for sure. So um, you know we'll give you a little bit of, of overview of, of the sort of all the different sounds in the product. But the first thing we should probably talk about is this new body res thing. Um, so I, I can go into the uh, little guitar effects here. And we'll show you. Oh, well, they want to see it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I had to put it on the screen first. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to get it really close here because it's going to take a sec to get in focus because of this is a webcam. But you can see we've got some body res EQ. Oh, come guitar. on. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it. Yes, there it is. Hello. Okay, perfect. So, um, one of the things that Tom came to me and said early on in the development process of this product was, Acoustic guitars sound terrible, quacky, um, when they're through a PA. And it's funny, I've, I've had a lot of experience in the past recording and recording acoustic guitars. This is Craig I, speaking to himself now. Me speaking to myself. Right. Um, I, I have recorded them in studios and that kind of thing, and I've used them live. And I never really, in my head, put together the fact that acoustic guitars with an understaddle pickup sound fairly horrible when you play them through the PA. I just kind of thought that's the way they sound. And Tom said, no, 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 there's this quack thing. And so I was quite the, the de-quack noob and Tom kind of uh, patted me on the head. It's, it's okay, you'll hear what, we, what, we, uh, what we're what we talking about later. Um, so I just kind of wanted to pass that along a little bit that it, it might be something that, that not everybody even knows that their acoustic guitar doesn't sound that great through a PA. So maybe Tom can expand a little bit on sort yeah. of getting that whole body res EQ thing going. Yeah, that's right. Well, this new feature, body res, uh, carves out some of the mids and it adds some compression and overall the, the intent is to make it sound kind of like you're sitting there just playing the guitar acoustically you know on your couch because when you're on, when you're on your couch you know the guitar sounds so rich and then you plug it through a PA and it sort of goes bah, 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 bah. sounds like a banjo you know <laughs> and I've gigged on acoustic guitar for years and years and years and I've always sort of gone well it's sort of a compromise um, and then we thought, well, we're doing a product specifically for acoustic guitar players. Let's try and make it so the, the acoustic guitar sounds better. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Should we give them a demonstration or should we move on? No, let's give them a quick demo. Okay. We're right here doing it. We'll just kind of th throw caution okay, to the wind well, here. So, um, can they hear that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they can hear it. I'm just going to turn off the... Uh, stop for a sec. I'm just going to turn off our vocal mic that's in the room here every time we do a little demo of the uh, the guitar or the right. vocals, just so that you guys don't get our, our in-the-room mic. So I'm going to mute myself. Bye-bye.
So cool. That, so what yeah. we should do now is like that's body res turned on, right? right? So the easiest way for us to make it sound really bad really quickly is to turn body res off. So why don't we do a quick little example? So with... give me a couple of notes and then turn it off. Like when I go. Oh yeah, for sure. So I'll I'll reach down and turn that off for you. Okay. So he's gonna keep playing. I'll turn it off. Okay, so there you go. That's a good example of turning body res on and off. Um, I just noticed a question in quack, in uh, in, in uh, chat there. What is this quack? Um, so obviously we just showed you the, the example of, of quacking. Yeah. But maybe um, it's kind of like this. If you, it's kind of like you have to, when you when you get an uh, undersaddle pickup on your acoustic guitar and you put it out through a PA, the audience uh, is listening to your guitar like this. <laughs> And and they're hearing this this horrible quack 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 because it's so very direct sounding. Yeah. A, an acoustic guitar always has a little bit of a path to your ear, and the and the the richness of the body is making it sound warmer. So, what happens is when your ear is on the bridge like that is it sounds kind of thwacky and quacky and yeah. kind of like a banjo, even if you have a thirty five hundred dollar Taylor or some mm -hmm. gorgeous thing. I've got this gorgeous uh, Larave, but it sounds to me. And potentially now to you guys, because now you know the difference. It just sounds kind of thwacky and unrewarding, mm -hmm. and I really like using body res. We've got a number of different styles yeah. that give you a little bit more bottom, a little bit less top, some more compression, some, some, some. All you got to do is just go click, click, click. You don't have to actually adjust it because we've, um, you know, we've limited the uh, user interface a little bit so that mm -hmm. you can just get what you want. There is an advanced mode in there. We can talk about that in a, yeah. in a few minutes. We, we've kind of done a little bit of a, a basic mode and an advanced mode. And we can yeah. talk about that. But let's do a little bit of a, a vocal overview because yeah. we, we're going to sort of start on the vocal side because, you know, we do do the vocal thing as our, our main gig here. Um, <laughs> That's why we're here. So if any of you own uh, Voice Life Play or Play GTX, you're going to be completely familiar and comfortable in the vocal uh, milieu of, uh, of Play Acoustic here. You're going to hear the harmonies. You're going to get the, the great reverb and delays and megaphone and all that kind of stuff. Um, so why don't I uh, why don't I switch off my mic here and Tom will give us a little okay. bit of a, uh, a vocal demo and show off some of the uh, the various sounds that the uh, the vocals can make in this unit. Ready yeah. to go? Okay, sure. Well, let's do it. All right. Check one two. Okay, so you can probably hear I've got a little bit of reverb there on my voice, which is also nice. This is a TC Electronic reverb. This is high end reverb, folks. Just because this product is tiny doesn't mean that that the effects are sort of you know second grade or anything. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I've got that wonderful tube sound. <laughs> Am I living it right? Am I living it right? Am I living it right? Why? Why, George, why? You know, that's just one voice of harmony. That, that's the yeah. standard one that everybody uses. You know, most pop music has that, that happy high harmony. Yeah, for but sure. But we've got two voices in this. You can add the two voices to yours and you can get three voice harmony. Right, yes, okay, yeah. So it's a two part accompaniment to make this. Right, and you okay. move them up, you can move them down. Yeah. Um, so, so this next one, uh, this is like, this is preset one and two. So you get started, as soon as you plug into this thing, you're ready to go. You don't have to go, okay, they're, they're showing me the megaphone and the hard tune and all that crazy stuff. I just want to get to the harmonies. For sure. We made it so that they're right there. Oh, uh, question is from um, Nick D Musician. Is uh, Body Res a global button for touch up similar to Adaptive EQ? All of the guitar effects in uh, Play right. Acoustic are global. Good question. So, um, you know, Play GTX are shifting everything per preset. In uh, in Play Acoustic, it's it's one sound. You pick it. Right. It's global. You use it through the night and uh, and then modify your vocal sound by changing the presets. Um, mm. And you can get in there and tweak, obviously, with that overall sound, but it, you just do it in the one place. So it's a good question there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pop off the mic again, and okay. Tom's going to show you a couple of voices, so a little three-part harmony thing. Yeah, this one's... Uh... This one's called too high. You know, whoa, like too high. No, T W O. Uh oh, I'm using one of Craig's picks here. Okay. Did you ever notice how your guitar picks just you drop a pick and it goes poing? <laughs> it's gone into the next dimension. <laughs> how does that happen? I pulled in Nazareth, was feeding about half past spent. 
Take a load of Fanny Take a load for free Take a load of Fanny Fanny Put the load, put the load right on me Ah, I just love those harmonies. You know, they just... They just make it. And I do a single, a solo, with just an acoustic guitar and uh, one of our processors. And, you know, it kills them when you bring in the harmonies. People don't necessarily know. They don't go, hmm, I love the fact that you use those upper harmonies in some songs and lower ones in other words. They actually just go, that sounds fantastic. You're amazing. Yeah, it's that kind of thing. They just, it blows their mind and they just, they, yeah, they're not, they're not processing it the same way I think that, you know, uh, other musicians who know about right. gear and stuff do. They just yeah. get the, the result of, yeah. of all that work, which is awesome. Um, okay, so we got, uh, we got some doubling and stuff in the product. A great, great couple of voices of doubling you can add in there. Um, I often sneak a couple of doubled voices in uh, to try and make a, a choir sort of a choral effect in some of the, uh, the presets, which is a neat little trick to do. Um, uh -huh. octave, octaves up and down and that yeah. kind of thing you can mess around with. Yeah. Um, do you want to give a little example of sure. some doubling here? <coughs> yeah, cool. Here's, what, here's, here's a song that uh, every person doing an acoustic solo needs to know. Beverly Hills in Beverly Hills <laughs> and it's funny because I just experienced what what some of our users have actually asked us about a bunch of times is it doesn't sound that doubled to me when I'm the singer or you know I'm sitting yeah. right next to you because I can hear Tom's voice like as it is right here coming out of his head and we have some some speakers coming back but that's an interesting thing about hard tune or doubling uh, any of those effects can actually sound a lot less obvious to you the performer than they do to the people who are listening on the other end of the PA so yeah. that's something to keep in mind when you're kind of designing your presets and you know it sounds great in your headphones and then you go play through the PA and you go just I can't hear it and the crowd crowd's totally getting it, so it's just... Uh, and the product has an overall mix, yes, right? Exactly. So you got to be yeah. careful, though, because you might be working in one preset, yeah. and you might go, mm, you know, the harmonies sound loud or soft or whatever, and then you, if you adjust it in the global mix, right. then all of a sudden all the presets have changed. So it's just a, it's just a good idea to, you know, find a, one preset that sounds exactly the way you want it to, yeah. and then adjust your global mix for like sure. that as well. Yeah, yeah. And copying, copying presets helps as well. Cool, so uh, we're going to do a little rockabilly there. So we're going into the... <laughs> Sitting home all alone If you can't come on over At least just telephone You can tell I do that song all the time. I'm so well rehearsed. Of course. <laughs> we totally rehearsed for weeks for this, uh, this presentation here. We were absolutely not flying by the seat of our pants, as you know we always do. Um, cool. So, what other uh, stuff we got? Some some really nice reverbs, right? Yes. So, um, showing off just literally a simple, nice reverb on your voice, fairly long. We've got some room reverbs, some short stuff as well, um, depending on how you want to use it. So, check these out. We skip the life and angle. Turn cartwheels across the floor. I was feeling kind of seasick. So you get the idea. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I think we're getting a bunch of questions sort of saying, uh, you know, what about more sort of in the uh, in the guitar realm? So I, I oh, assume okay. you guys kind of, sure. you get the gist of what we're doing vocally here, which is awesome. Uh, Tom's dropped his pick into the abyss again, and I, I know <laughs> where it is. And sorry so, about that. <laughs> that's just this. <laughs> oh, you got a, you got a, a full a poor jack on your layer right there. There's you, your. You think they put a good one on this thing? Jeez. <laughs> the guitar is mixed too high, is what we're hearing. Ah, uh, is it? <laughs> Do we have to start again? No. Yeah. Hi, it's Tom and Craig. Hi. hi. I'm glad you asked, Tom. We were thinking about how funny it would be to script this whole thing really terribly so that when you guys came on to watch that we'd be incredibly robotic for you, but we figured we'd just go for fun. Thanks for the mix tip. We'll, we'll just okay, keep, we just keep us informed. I, I knocked it down a couple of details. Yeah, it's hard to kind of measure it from in here. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, we've got body res. Um, in, in terms of the way that people will see it, I'm going to just show it on the screen again here. Um, the average user is going to get this. You get an amount. You get, sorry about the blurriness there, it's hard to get this to focus. Um, you get an amount, a low gain, and a high gain. Bass and um, treble, basically. Yeah, bass and treble. Yeah. And there is an advanced mode that you can go into. Um, for those of you who are sort of more into the tweaky kind of stuff, which actually is, is not me, it's kind of funny being somebody who's on the development team. I like the basic mode. I just turn the amount up and down. I go, it's too bassy, it's too trebly, I do my thing. But if you would like to go into an advanced mode, you can go into the setup menu here, 
and you can choose the advanced editing turn that on and then when you go back into the body res the next time um, you're gonna see a bunch more uh, um, controls available to you so as you get in you then get access to a, a shelf EQ here uh, I apologize for this blurriness it's really frustrating we're gonna have to get some sort of product camera for the next time we do this but uh, cam. yeah the product cam 9000 but you start getting into your shelving EQs um, and then you've got a full-blown parametric so you've got a ton of parameters that you can mess with in the parametric EQ as well and these are um, all the parameters that we use to build the sound of body res. If you turn everything mm -hmm. to zero, mm -hmm. you get back to quack quack. Wall, exactly. Wall. So it really does put it into your um, into your hands. You know, in, in terms of an advanced user, if you want to okay. really tweak things, you can do it yourself. Let's not bore them with body res. Okay, let's not bore them with bar body res. Uh, Starting with the first the, the first thing in the guitar. Piece, yes. The first thing you see is reverb. Now this is a completely separate reverb from the one that's on the vocals. So you can have you could have a room guitar and a big uh, hall for vocals, yeah. or, or whatever. So right now I've got this lovely plate. By the way, these effects are from our fine friends at 2C Electronic. The reverb in here is from the Hall of Fame pedal, uh, which is one of the tone print pedals from 2C Electronic, and it sounds amazing. This is one of the styles. Styles. It's called Plate. And I, uh, yes, I have cranked it up. Can you can you crank up what we can hear? Just want to make sure we. Yeah. I I can totally outplay Tom on the guitar. By the way, I just permanently choose not to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I've I, I uh, known around the office as Mr. Cowboy Chord, and I'm proud of it. Yeah, darn proud of it. Campfire chords, <laughs> Campfire man. Campfire chords, yeah. The whole idea, the whole reason you, you started playing guitar is to pick up the girls and exactly. whatever the minimum number and type of chords. Yep. Like these kind of chords. Uh, yeah, I don't need those. You're chords. not going to get chicks with I, those. I don't need to do a train cover with that chord, so there you go. <laughs> so, anyway, I turned on the. The next effect block, we've given you chorus in there, and chorus you've got to be a little careful with because remember these are the these sounds stay on all night, right? Because you're not going to be switching through them. So chorus, if you add a lovely bit of like uh, motion, yeah. and this is from the TC Electronic Corona Chorus, which is a, another wonderful sounding effect pedal. <laughs> Absolutely. Some of them that. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So anyway, you don't want to get too out of trouble, <laughs> out of control with those, but those will sound great. And then, then it's very simply body res after that. So yeah. it's reverb, chorus, and body res, and really with an acoustic guitar. That's all you need. There's some interesting questions coming in here. Um, the uh, the people who are asking about, I've got a, a Harmony GXT. Mm -hmm. um, sort of what's the difference? Why would I upgrade to this thing? Mm -hmm. um, I think the biggest thing is that you're going to find is the number of overall presets vocally. So having a, a different preset for every song, whereas the, the Harmony GXT is limited to 10 presets. And looking at um, the ability to have the body rest stuff on there to make your guitar sound that much better. Um, the the number of, of vocal effects as well. Yeah, like number it. of vocal effects. you got seven versus what you've got. Uh, two voices of harmony and some reverb and tone. I'm on amazed Harmony's you remember all that stuff because yes. I can't remember that stuff. Um, and then I think you can add reverb to your guitar as well, but it won't be the uh, the TC electronic reverb, so you're getting a slightly different verb there. Um, that one goes into... I'm just sort of looking at some questions here. Craig's starting to look overwhelmed. Oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Next, uh, the next time, just looking at Tyree's suggestion, the next time for the stream, uh, having something on the product as well. This is totally our first crack at this, so it's uh, it's me trying to manage a lot of this uh, this stuff in the background and, and give you guys what we want you to see, um, as well as, as trying to uh, get the, the product uh, shown off for you. There are teams of people that you can't see off, uh, yeah. off camera running things. <laughs> it's totally not just me and Tom in my <laughs> office, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just going to switch the little scene up here, because I thought I'd let you guys see the back panel of the unit. So um, just 
taking a look at the outputs here, um, we ship the, the unit in what is a, an acoustic guitar a DI output and a mono vocal output, which allows you to immediately just connect to a mixer and have one mono channel for each of your, your devices. Um, or so each your of the sound tech can, can vary the levels. Exactly, right. yeah. And, uh, and, you know, obviously you can put the thing into stereo mode as well if you feel like it, um, but we really like the idea of being able to just plug into the average PA and uh, let things know. People are putting notes on our door now. What's oh, this? I can't read that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what are we getting? When will this hit the Oh, stars? yeah, there's, there's a lot of questions here that we're getting uh, pa uh, passed on to us, so uh, okay. we'll, we'll try to answer them as we go through. Um, I'm just going to keep to the, the back panel here for just another minute. Um, you'll see there's a pedal input there. That's for Switch 3, so you can control guitar effects and vocal effects through the Switch 3, including the hit button, um, which you can, can fire on and off with the Switch 3. You can do looping via the Switch 3. Somebody asked whether or not you need um, two feet to get into the looper. No, you don't. You just... Uh, um, one wide foot. <laughs> yeah, one wide foot. You press two buttons at the same time, and that'll pop into the looper. Um, you got an auxiliary in there, and we, uh, I don't know if, if any of you are play, uh, uh, voice I play or, or voice I play GTX owners, you may have noticed recently we made a change to the firmware. It allows you to treat the aux input as a monitor input, and essentially that means the aux in doesn't go to the main out. So that's a cool little feature uh, there where you can basically use the headphone output as, as in your monitors and have the, the monitor feed come in there. So it's kind of a nice little, uh, little tweak we made there. Obviously, you've got your guitar input, you've got the USB for updating presets. It does stream USB audio in both directions. Incoming USB audio is no longer passed to the uh, to the output of the USB, so you can use it in a more DAW-type situation, which is something people really, really wanted from some of our previous products. Um, we'll go on. Yeah, people have asked for when's the availability and the price and all that kind of stuff. That is our, uh, our current information on when it is available. Shipping really soon. I mean, like now-ish. And, uh, and then we got estimated street prices there. Your dealer may sell for less. I'm not entirely sure uh, what those prices will look like, but that's the uh, the suggestion there. Um, and uh, let's see, we got a couple of... What's the difference vocally? Here we Should go. I talk that thing or not? No, we can just talk in the regular mic. Uh, what's the difference vocally between play acoustic and play GTX? Well, we talked about that. It's yeah, just very the, the number of effects yeah. and uh, the fact that you've got more presets and stuff. For um, sure. Have you found during testing that you can overdrive the body res? Um... I don't know. You did most of the body res work. And yeah, I mean... Would you mind expanding on that, Thomas? You know, if you probably if you cranked up some of the stuff, you probably could. Because there's a compressor in there, Right. Uh, you might be able to over-crank it and do that. So maybe the best thing to do is stay with the styles mm -hmm. on that. Uh, is it not better to simply mic the guitar for a gig? Great question. Uh, Great yes. question. Okay. Yeah. We would all love to mic the guitar yeah. at the gig. I really would love that. And some people, you know, they, they, they hook up these little dealios. In fact, I've seen James Taylor do it. This oh, little yeah. thing that comes across to here. Yeah. The difference is in volume. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're super quiet and you're by yourself or, um, yeah, just super quiet or by yourself and there's no other, you know, guys with marshals mm -hmm. um, <laughs> or live drums, you yeah. can get away with a mic acoustic guitar, but, but typically you can't get it very loud. You yeah. know, I like to, because when you're playing with the acoustic guitar, if you find that you're banging all the time in mm -hmm. order to hear yourself over the rest of the band, it's just no fun. Yeah. Because yeah. the acoustic guitar, you got to be able you got to play with your dynamics a lot more. So For sure. For we, sure. We love to do that. So it's better to use, um, you know, a, a, an acoustic processor uh, that's got something that makes it sound better. This is a good one. Um, <coughs> Phil W53 asks, I have a Voice Life 3 and a Voice Life 2. Is there any advantage in adding play acoustic? Um, we're never afraid to tell you when that might not be the right product for you. In a Voice Life 3, the plan is we are going to bring some body res style stuff to the Voice Life 3, be it via, via presets or um, styles. So the answer is no. Um, I, would, I would hold off right now and see where your Voice Life 3 goes. Um, all of the settings that are in Voice Live 3 currently, you can, can mimic uh, most of the body rest stuff, minus a couple little tweaks. So uh, Minimum you know, things that you probably yeah, so would as much miss. as I'd, I'd love you to tell you to, to buy another product, um, that's not our shtick here. You're good yeah. with your Voice Live 3. Um, Voice Live 2 oh, would yeah. be a completely different story. Um, Voice Live 2, you won't be able to get there. Um, there is some EQ and stuff for the guitar, but it doesn't have that same yeah. um, ability to get in there. And of course, with there. Voice Live 3, you've got the, in, the ability to turn individual things on and off. Right, exactly. Which is a big deal, you know, rather than having to go, oh, yeah. I'm going to go to a next preset because I don't want to have... Uh, reverb on the guitar. I want to have the good, for sure. dead drive. You just go click. For sure. Um, can you mix stereo uh, vocals and guitar? Well, if you have it in stereo output mode, then the, essentially the mix that you're getting on the mix screen is your stereo mix. So that's your vocal blend versus your, your guitar mix. However, if you're going mono out yeah. to the uh, sound tech, yeah. 
what's in the headphones is always stereo. Is stereo, yeah. so you can have this glorious sunny thing uh, left and right, and then the person up front has two mono mixes yeah. to make sure your you know your vocal comes out when you need to you know. Yeah, you can mix it yourself on stage. A lot of times you can get away with that, but it's somebody sure. up front, sound men. You know, they need yeah. to feel like they're included too. Sound um, techs, sound, sound tech. people. Yes, a sound person. We cannot say sound guy. Yeah. Um, do do do. Why can't per preset? I like I like, I like blah, blah. this I like this one here. Um, you this a continuation is it better to simply have mic the guitar? Good night, Except when, good night, Wee Pig. As I was just saying, he's uh, he's going to walk his dog. So oh well, that's kind of late. Are you in the UK <laughs> or something? Except when you have a great pickup like my bags. Ah oh, yes. I've. N I've never heard a great pickup under saddle. Right. It doesn't occur in nature. I I I think and you, and you can flame me or whatever. I don't read Facebook anyway, so T yeah. um, No, but but the thing is under saddles just aren't made to sound great. However, right. yeah. if you've got a dual system where you're you've got mm. a, a sensor somewhere on the body that's mixed separately, yeah. yeah, you're starting to get really close to that sound of the body. So, mm -hmm. um, for sure. Um we got a couple of uh, Stor stage new pedal. Oh, do, 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 do. What am I looking? At? Okay, um, people are asking about the stereo mono thing. I've just got a little diagram here for you that you can see, um, just showing you know essentially how you connect very simply to to a uh, a mixer out there. Connect your aux in if you want to. Got your mic input as well. Um, and then if you were to go to uh, say an amplifier, if you have an acoustic amp, you could always um, put it into to mono mode there and uh, and chuck it out to your amplifier as well. So there's a uh, um, couple of things. Oh, I'm just getting a, 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 a link message from one of our, our tech support guys saying, agreed, acoustic pickups usually suck. U usually being the core of that. Yeah, the, Most the, often. <laughs> I got one here. Okay. Um, I have a Harmony GXT, which I enjoy. Yeah. In terms of use on stage, is this new pedal easier to use? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go, so. for, yeah. go to preset three and then back to one. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Right now. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, you got to go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. <laughs> you gotta keep going around while yeah. you turn on the thing. So, so with sure. this one, you go, you go. Uh, I guess we can't show it here, but you go, yeah. you know, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, yeah. and then turn harmony on and off. So yeah. the extra pedal really makes a difference. For Plus sure, looping is fantastic. Yes, yeah. You know? Just having that simple looper, you know, you get in there and you just fire it off. You've got a switch three. You can obviously have the looper sitting there ready to use anytime you want. You just yeah. boom, 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 and yeah. it gets you in and out there. Uh, can you run a 12, th 12 string through it? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And of course, obviously, if you're using some of the detuning stuff, you can you can kind of muck with that on a six string to get a pseudo twelve-ish string kind of sound. You know, it's not a not a twelve string emulator, but you can get a little bit of that kind of phasey thing going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, could we demo the looper, Tom? Could you demo the looper? Could I demo the looper? Just you put him, put him on the spot here. Um, All right, I'm gonna turn okay. off turn off my mic and make him dance for you. Uh, or should I should I keep talking <laughs> to kind of give you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go, Tom. Go. Okay. Here's here's one I do use. With the looper in okay. my live gig. Okay. Um, I'm a okay. <laughs> no pressure here. Looping in front of a cast of dozens. Uh, um. <clears throat> As Tom dives down onto the floor, be like, "Uh, bye." What is he? Doing? You can play the game, you can act out the part, but you know it wasn't written for you. Tell me, how can you stand there with your broken heart, afraid of playing the fool? I'll cut to the chase. All you do is shower the people you love with love. Show them the way that you feel. Things are going Part. <laughs> Shower the people you love with love. Show them the way that you feel. Shower the people you love with love. Show them the way that you feel. Let's add some harmony to that. Shower the people you love with love. Show them the way. Show them the way that you yeah. feel. 
They say in Show every life, the people every love, love a little rain Show them the fall. way that you feel Show the people you love with love Show them the way that you feel And so on. That's great. I, I think that example, that type of playing, um, can really show. Oh, I love how it says, "Well done, guys." It's totally, I was totally contributing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it it really shows how um, you could take you know the, the typical like I'm walking down to the pub, I'm gonna play some songs for some people, and turn it into that from just having your guitar right. and your vocal going through you know typical 58 into like a little powered speaker somewhere, and your guitar plugged into the under saddle. I think just that difference between those two performances is gigantic and yeah. and yeah it takes a little bit of time to get get good at, at doing the looping thing and layering it well, up you kind of do have to do this kind of thing a little bit about like yeah playing singing smiling performing hi how's everybody doing and then running you know running a looper yeah uh, here's here's a tip mm. if you're going to use a looper and you're playing an acoustic guitar well or anything make sure you erase the last one first <laughs> <laughs> So many. There's times when I'm I'm getting involved, and I'm like, yeah, this is so cool. And I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna put the, oh, I'm gonna totally do this loop thing. And it's just like the last song comes flying through. Oh yeah. And and you sort of go like, uh -huh. <laughs> just, just strum and obfuscate. <laughs> uh, does it do any pitch correction? Yes, it does do pitch correction. Yep. Um, we've got the global pitch correction in there, so that's an autochromatic always on and you can vary it between zero and a hundred or one and a hundred percent um so you know, it can be off 50 is pretty good like, yeah. 50 is pretty good i kind of run mine around 40 all the time and it just smooths things off if you hear a lot of phasing like in your headphones uh it's because you're way off the pitch and that can actually be kind of a neat little guide for you that the less phasing you hear in your own little monitors um the more on pitch you are so it's kind of a cool learning tool over yeah. time um and then we also have the the hard tune block so we've got the 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 actual hard tune sound plus the natural ones and the ones that follow key and scale and that kind of stuff. Yeah, they've got styles. Yeah. And so that if, if you, the name of the block might scare people. Hard yes, tune. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to sound like Cher when I'm singing like exactly. a James Taylor tune. Yeah. But you can back it off and it reads the chords of your guitar so yeah. it gets the right notes. I, I did a demo that I'll, I'll probably put up at some point soon where um, I was covering a, a song that had some a sort of a jump to falsetto in it. And uh, I, I actually put correct natural on hit. So when I came up to the note where I had to make the jump to falsetto, I would hit the natural correction just to help me make sure I landed that note really well each time. So the correction was actually on for like 10 seconds every minute or something like that. But that kind of little tweak can really help you and kind of give you a bit of sort of support and, and that feeling of security. I confidence. Think. Like, yeah, confidence. Yeah, yeah, when you're doing that kind of thing. Um, can you use this unit and a GTX together? Um, I wouldn't. Um, I think it's kind of an either or there. Um, there's so yeah. many things that are similar between the two that it, it would, probably wouldn't make sense. Um, can you use the headphone out for a good feed for IM? So, uh, yeah, Ian. Uh, oh, if you guys don't know Ian, by the way, Ian in chat here, he's Voice Live Editor. So um, any of the editors that have been coming out and, and all these fun things that have been happening for some of our products, we've been on the back end trying to support Ian to get these things out there, and he's doing uh, an amazing job putting out all the stuff. So just a little Thanks, props Ian. to him. Yeah, if anybody wants to go to voiceliveeditor.com, they can check out his uh, website and get the, the stuff that he's doing. Um, um, but yeah, it can be a great uh, headphone feed for IEMs. We talked about it a little bit earlier, but you can use the aux input to only feed what goes into your headphones. So, uh, I mean, it's a little tricky maybe getting getting a front of house mix from like XLR down to eighth inch or something, but it's totally doable. It's just an adapter to make it happen. So um, absolutely Just don't doable. trip on it. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you explain why the GTX presets cannot be ported to the acoustics preset? Um, do, 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 do. The GTX presets are they, like they contain all the guitar stuff with them, and that's a big part of the yeah. why those presets can't just sort of be imported. The system wouldn't, wouldn't know what to do with them. Uh, the reality is, you're probably likely to have a, a better chance of, of us being able to give you maybe voice live play presets because they're more similar that in in the fact that they just don't carry um, uh, they don't carry any of the the and guitar effects. And if you have favorites, it's yeah. you, you could sit with them for half an hour, yeah. literally. Yeah and bounce your favorites in. Because, you know, typically for a gig, you're using 10 presets, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, that's what I did when I went from my Voice Life 2 to Voice Life 3. Right. I just sat down and did it. And then, and then it was just like, what, this thing is blowing my head <laughs> off. It's so cool. And I started adding a bunch of extra stuff. But for sure. yeah, it for doesn't sure. take long. Okay. Cool. Um, Okay, asking about uh, using a GTX side by side. I see what you mean. Um, I, think that, oh. like, I think that's a very interesting sort of segue with what Tom was saying is that 
you could literally sit down with a Play GTX and this product and match up the vocal presets exactly in a few minutes per preset. If you just had the GTX and you know you went to the edit menu and just went, what harmony am I using? What reverb am I using? Blah, blah, yeah, the blah. The styles are similar, so it's yeah, like low and yeah. high. And, and You're not going to get totally lost in another sea of, yeah. of, of um, you know parameters and all that kind of stuff. We got products that will do that for you, though. That's that, that is right. That is right. Yeah, we got some products that'll let you get in there and customize to your heart's content. Hey, Tom, because I totally forget it, I'm going to look stupid on the internet in front of millions of people. Is there a guitar boost in this one? Oh yeah, with the with the switch. With the switch, yeah. yes, of course. There is. Okay, yes, there is a guitar boost. That's a great yeah. question. Um, that's from Tom. Um, yes. Yeah, so if you're doing finger picking or you want to do a little bit of a solo, there is definitely a, a boost in there. You can access it via Switch Three. So that's the same way we've accessed right. Boost um, in our other products. Yeah. Um, you know, we're kind of coming to the end here. Well, let's talk about let's, presets for a second. Yeah, set. sure. Now, we were talking briefly about presets. We made it so that the first couple of presets are something you could just... If you bought this at 3 o'clock... I don't know, what time would a gig start? Eight. <laughs> if you bought this at 6 and you wanted a gig at 8, you could totally do yeah. that because the first four or five presets are all just harmonies and they're yeah. nice and easy and you turn them on and off. Yeah. Then we've got some song presets. And here we've got Layla, you know... Layla you got me on my knees, Layla. You know, that, that lovely, uh, um, that octave up. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some good ones. She asked me to stay and she told me that's not the right one. She asked me to stay and you noticed there wasn't a chair. I do that one all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, This is great because we keep getting people sticking notes in the window being like, you're forgetting, whatever. Um, first of all, we'll give, we'll give Stephanie at P.E. Schmidt, New York a uh, shout out. Uh, definitely nice to see some of our, our partners out here uh, coming to see, check out the, the, the live broadcast. We will do more of these. Um, we've left out the anti-feedback uh, portion of the guitar, uh, okay. the guitar stuff, so uh, we might want to touch on that. It's maybe a little important considering the acoustic guitars tend to go... <laughs> when you go and play them live. Yeah, for those of you that have played an acoustic guitar and tried to get loud with it, you know that there is a point at which you must not cross. Yeah, and, exactly. And then, you know, you're turning up and up, the band's getting louder, the crowd's getting louder, mm -hmm. et etc. Et and then you get this mooing thing that wants to jump out of your yeah. hands. It's just going... <laughs> yeah. So, feedback can be an issue. And what we've done is uh, we've got... A screen when you go into the advanced. Oh no, it's there all the time. Is it in yeah, there? It's there all the time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It it allows Here, you. I'll, uh, I'll do it so you don't hum. It allows you to put a notch at a feedback frequency, and if Come once on, it gets in go. focus, there. Now hold that steady. Kitch kitch kitch. Um. See that says notch gain and notch frequency. Come on, stay in focus, you silly ah, thing. That's all right. Okay. You guys get this. What it means is it just puts an EQ notch, a very, very, very narrow notch, uh, like one note wide, fairly deep, and that allows you to get rid of those those notes that, you know, because mm -hmm. sometimes you're playing, you're going, okay, sounds good, mm -hmm. so good, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and actually it's cool because we've calibrated it, that is the, the parameters listed in notes, yes. as well as hertz, because yeah. you, you know, you're an acoustic guitar player, or you're just a gigger, and you're going... Hmm, that sounds to me like 220.35 kiloboggles. You know, it's like, no, no, no. Isn't everybody G. like that? That's not that's not friendly. Well, oh. <laughs> we put it in we put it in terms of G and A. Yeah, which I mean, is great. When I first started playing, I didn't know G or A either. It was the yeah. third one up on the fat string. For sure. <laughs> um, so we've also got phase invert. We kind of go through yeah. them saying, like, that, that can be your first, line of, your first line of defense. That's your first line It's just invert the phase, so what's coming through your monitor is going to be inverted to what's going out of the guitar, and therefore they're going to cancel each other, and you won't have as much feedback. Um, we've got a low cut on there for the, yes. the, the, the really, really big super low. super low. Like, that's, yeah. that's microphone stuff that people walk in across the stage and earthquakes and things. For sure. What we were going to say about uh, phase invert is... Yes. Actually, it's kind of cool when you want to listen to body res, because a lot of times an acoustic guitar is so loud, you're, you're having trouble hearing... Mm how cool it sounds. Ah, right. The phase is really cool because it takes the sound from here out to there to your speaker. It right. seems like so, that to so your, your ear. your perception of it is greater at that point. Yeah, so you can doing. actually right. hear the effect a little mm -hmm. bit better. So play around with that. Okay. And I swear, uh, when the thing is feeding back, I can't, we, you know, we can't sort of overemphasize the fact that phase really makes the feedback go away. Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, 
So yeah, we got uh, online sales start June 24th. Um, oh, there we go. We got some people just uh, chiming in, like some of our, our friends here, letting people know what the, the dates are for shipping and that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, it's getting out there right now. One thing to note about the anti-feedback is it's not adaptive, so it's not automatic. This is some, some manual controls that you have that can right. give you some tools to uh, to avoid the feedback, but that's a really good, uh, really good thing and to, to touch on. And we put phase on the Switch 3 foot switch. Ah, uh, yes, we did. Yeah, that's a cool one. It's sort of your, um, your O <laughs> button. Yeah. Um, so if you have it on, on there and you do start running into feedback you could flip the phase without having to bend down and muck with the unit so it, it depends on the type of environment you're in if you're often on large stages or something that might be kind of a back pocket thing you might want to have there just to make sure that you cover yourself and yeah and if you have a if you have an acoustic guitar system that has under saddle plus the body stuff mm -hmm. these body things feed back like crazy they sound mm -hmm. gorgeous but they feed back yeah and if you're using that yeah you know, just have it on a foot switch and just click yeah. and it's yeah. gone yeah exactly uh, Yes, there is a tuner in it, um, exactly the same as Play GTX. Mm -hmm. um, you press and hold the talk button when a uh, or the hit button when a guitar is plugged in. Um, I don't have a guitar <laughs> plugged into this one, so I can't show you. Um, but it's got a great tuner in there, and it will uh, mute the guitar during the tuning. But you can still talk to the audience, so all of your vocal effects will be removed, um, except tone. Except oh, we tone. haven't talked about tone. Yeah, we haven't talked about tone. Tone is in there. Um, tone yeah. is our adaptive EQ compressor, de-esser, gate. It's essentially the make me sound better in a button button even though it's not a button it's a parameter but uh, and it's permanently on you don't have to yeah you can turn it off it. if you want there are some styles for it as well so things like less bright if you find that it's a little too sizzly or whatever there's some some styles in there you can address but or if you get a little bit of vocal feedback you yes. can put it on the less bright yeah we've we've adjusted it so that it's right. it's not quite as uh it doesn't cut quite as much off yeah um, I, it's funny, I was actually at the pub the other day and there was a guy singing and playing with his uh, acoustic guitar and I swear to God, I wish I had one of these in my trunk. And it wasn't like, because I work for the company, it was, this guy would be sounding so much better if only I could hear his vocals a little bit better and if he had any verb of any kind on his voice and his guitar and maybe if there was a harmony coming in and out when he was singing some very obvious cover songs by bands that I knew and I knew the song and I knew the harmony was missing. So that was kind of an interesting yeah, experience. Really. I, I kind of wish I had them to give out like candy sometimes in those situations. Like, here, please take this. Well, tone is actually <laughs> invented from the audience's point of view. That's right. Yeah. Dave, our our boss here, he went and he saw, went and saw my band, and one of our singers was peaking and then dying out. Mm -hmm. Like you hear the band at about this level, then you hear, <laughs> and he was like, oh, oh, yeah. And so he went back and he engineered this tone thing so that it basically takes the those down yeah. a little bit, not a lot, but just enough to make it down. Bring up the overall level a little yeah. bit, sweeten it up so it's a little brighter, mm -hmm. not so much mud on the bottom end. For sure. And so, so for the audience, it's just like, oh my gosh, it's nice to listen to this guy rather than some guys you find are like, bah, boo, boo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, genres, we've got uh, all the genres that are in there. Um, you know, we've got your... your EDM, um, dance. Uh, of course, All the yeah. stuff you're going to totally use. Techno and hip hop are, are the <laughs> primary presets Sorry. in there. Uh, <laughs> no. We've got, uh, uh, you know, all your song and artist presets, obviously. And, and then you've got, you know, pop genre, and we do have like country rock genre. and country and um, uh, and then of course all broken down by uh, the type of effect as well. So like a harmony, a reverb, a delay, a doubling. So if you're looking for those kinds of presets, you can shoot to those genres and, and filter them out. Yep. Um, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Guitar K Square said, uh, Tone is the reason I use your product over the D company. I wonder what the Digitechie means. <laughs> it's funny. People come on the forums and they say, are we allowed to talk about other companies? And I'm like, of course you're allowed to talk about other companies. You know, they exist in the universe. It's yeah. totally okay. We, we get it. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, we don't have specific folk or bluegrass genres, but so many of these presets, and I think this is something we really should touch on, so many of the presets in these boxes, even if they've been named for a particular song or artist or genre, are completely applicable to other genres. So don't discount a Taylor Swift preset just because you don't like pop or country or pop rock country hot AC, whatever, whatever that box that fits hot into, wow. <laughs> but you know, whatever that, whatever that box is that that fits into mm -hmm. may actually be completely usable for your song that is nothing to do with that artist and song. So yeah. well, I always encourage people like try out all the presets anyway, because you'll find a lot of things in there that you look at the name and if the name really bugs you, just store it with the same, you know, with a different name. Well, like, you know, we, we do put a little bit of unusual stuff in there. Like, do you believe in life after love? But then you could totally do like, I ain't as good as I once was. 
I got a few years on me now. Of course, you'd probably get shot for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Either Rascal Flatts sings the most perfect harmonies ever, or they just lock those things on the tuner when they get up there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but we should. Uh, we've been 45 minutes now. We should really uh, start thinking about taking off. Uh, okay. It's been really fun. I really appreciate everybody dropping in and taking a listen to what we've been doing here and hanging out with us. Um, we're going to plan to do more of these. We're probably going to do about one a month. Um, we're likely going to switch to a different stream provider uh, just because we... Uh, um, we're not really supposed to be doing this on Twitch, and I didn't find that out till this morning. So, anyways, uh, we will probably swap over to Justin TV, but the address will likely remain the same. So we'll work on that, but uh, we will keep you guys posted. Each live stream, uh, like we said, once a month, might be a Friday afternoon, have a beer with us kind of situation. We'll have a, a general topic, and then we'll try and answer a bunch of questions from, from people in the audience as well. Um, so we might cover a particular product like a Voice Live 3 or an FX150, those really awesome new vocal monitors we put out. Um, but generally, we'll try and stick it to one topic and then take some questions and all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much, everybody. Really appreciate it. Uh, big thanks to Tom who comes and uh, and makes me look good every time by kicking ass on guitar and vocals. Um, take care, everyone. We are going to end the stream now and. Stop. I don't really